Riley, have you ever made a mistake? Never. I didn't think so. I know it's hard to admit, no one wants to, but we all make them from time to time. And when a mistake is made on a larger scale, like one a whole city can see, they're hard to ignore. Today we're gonna introduce you to an Olympia landmark that was once referred to as a mistake and has been transformed into something great. In today's show, we're taking you on an exclusive tour of luxury apartments and businesses that call views on Fifth Home. In 1964, the Capitol Center building was constructed in Washington State's capital city, Olympia. Its $2 million investment was a crowning achievement for the time, but it was always polarizing from the start because of the way that it obstructed the views from Capitol Campus to the Puget Sound. Over the years, the property turned from government owned to privately owned, and then slowly fell into disrepair until it finally sat for over a decade vacant, at which time Olympia developer Ken Brogan purchased the property and reinvented it into what we know now, Views on Fifth. Views on Fifth manager Kevin Chase is here with us today to tell us about the property. Uh, tell me about what it's like to live here. What do, what do people like about living here in this great, I know it's a great location, beautiful luxury apartments. What, what do you think are the reasons to live here? Yeah, the convenience, just being able to go ahead and uh, you know, walk down to the local bars, grills, uh, grocery shopping, being able to park in the automated parking structure. So automated parking, yeah. I understand that's one of the first in the country. Can you tell me a little bit about what that is, automated parking? Yeah, so it's essentially going to be a, a car vending machine. It's going to park and retrieve your vehicle for you. A car vending machine. I just love that. Now we'd like to introduce you to a local artist who's made views on Fifth home to her world-renowned art and gallery. I'm here now with Deborah Van Tynen. I hear you happen to be one of the first tenants in Views on Fifth, is that correct? Yes, I was. In fact, I found the space when they didn't have any walls up and uh, I got to help create the space. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. So what did you do and what do you love now about working in this space? What I like is the light, the energy that comes in from this. It's the um, being able to uh, bring people in. I, I love being downtown and, you know, in the community. And it's a, um, a great spot for people to come in and see me, see what I'm doing. See how I'm creating. I'm so thankful you're here. You're such um, an incredible addition to our community. And thank you for taking the time to let us come here and visit with you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> time for us to visit a spot that I just love. So we're here today with Nicole Andrus, who is the general manager of 1889 Prime Steakhouse at Views on Fifth. Nicole. Hi. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks for taking some time to meet with us Absolutely. with your busy schedule. Yeah. So what makes this steakhouse unique as far as a dining experience in Olympia? Sure. Um, since I've been here, which was my whole life, there hasn't been a, a high-end steakhouse in downtown Olympia. So it makes it very unique. Um, closest thing we have in this area would be Anthony's Home Port. Um, so this is a small town steakhouse for, for downtown. Yeah. yeah. Well, this has been fun. Are you ready to go? I think so. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the American Dream in beautiful Olympia, Washington. We're your South Sound hosts, lifestyle and real estate experts, Christy Woodford. And Charlie Green. If you'd like your property or business featured on our next episode, please let us know.